Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fortex so i am using the Oxygenus 12.1 android 12 stable aka beta build from this update all the problems started to arise like no fast boot mode is working for this build and no rollback package was given by OnePlus but finally i made the device rollback to Oxygenus 11 from the Oxygenus 12 after lots of the checks and taking risk because no one knows what will happen there are lots of chances of hard breaking the device If the single step was gone wrong so if this video helps you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for the not to before proceeding what are the requirements you need one pc or the laptop with all the working drivers which is must next you need the mtk client i am using the real live dvd of mtk client which can be bootable via pen drive on the windows so you need one pen drive to flash the iso of real live dvd or you can use the windows based mtk client app but it requires lot of setup for the python drivers but still sometime it will not detect your device i have given the right side i card video how to flash this real live dvd mtk client iso next you need to download the oxonos 11 firmware as per your model like if you are using the indian not to use the dn2101 files for the eu regions use the 2103 files and for the pacman devices use the pacman named latest oxonos files Here I'm using the old Oxygen 11 A15 partition backup. You can use the latest one from the already mentioned link. I downloaded it in the phone and extracted the zip and later transferred it to the PC. You can directly download the file and keep extracted folder on the desired location on your PC. Next you need to download the preloader file from the video description which is in the boot.bin format. I have given the preloader for the Indian and the EU regions. Use as per your device model. Keep the developer setting and the USB debugging enabled in the phone before start of the process. This is the lengthy process because read write speed depends as per your PC specification. Still you will need at least 4 hours for the total backup plus rollback process. Quality of video will be low because I shoot at video hurriedly and in the background noise condition so sorry for that. We are not responsible for anything happens to your device because single step will break your device which is your sole responsibility. Now without further ado let's get started on a new adventure So first keep your PC power off then connect the real live DVD MTK client pen drive to the PC then power on your PC and repeatedly press the boot menu key F12 is boot menu key for my PC your boot menu key will be different as per your PC model you will get the boot menu key information in the Google search So PC will start with the boot menu select the USB storage that you connected to the PC your boot menu will look different as per your PC model so we'll get the real live dvd startup menu select the live boot option if your device did not able to boot real live dvd you can use the windows mtk client i will show that process in the separate video how to set up and use it this real live dvd will boot without any login password but if it asks then use the small caps letter u s e r user as a password So we are in a real live DVD of MTK client. First, if you did not place the partition backup folder and the preloader file in the PC, you need to first transfer that in the PC. Go to the file manager. Here you will see all the hard drive present on your PC and the USB connected devices like the phone, pen drive, etc. Just copy and paste both the files in the desired location of your hard drive. As I already told you that place the both the files in any hard drive which has more than 30 GB free space before booting into real live DVD. Here I place my A15 backup folder which has all the images inside the folder and here is the separate folder named as the preloader there I place the boot.bin preloader file always keep preloader file in a separate folder now go to the desktop and open the mtk client application you will get this interface now take your phone in hand and power off it first connect one end of usb cable to the pc and don't connect other end to the phone first long press the volume up plus down keep it press and now connect the usb cable Hold the button till the MTK client detects your phone with the moving circle. At this stage, immediately leave the holded buttons of your phone. You will get this connection successful message as on your PC screen. So you are now in the B-ROM mode of your phone. First, you need to take the full backup of your Oxygenus 12 ROM with its preloader because if anything goes wrong, we can still restore this and get back your phone alive. You will get different tabs in the MTK client. Now choose the first one, read partition. Check mark all the partition now scroll down to the bottom of partition list and deselect the user data partition. 
Now tap read partition, you will get the two folders in the left panel, one is computer and another one is the user. Go to computer, then tap on the slash folder, then from the list choose the media, then choose user. Here you can see all the HDD present on your PC with the some alphabetical names. Here I have A, B, C and D hard drives, so choose your HDD with the free space of 30 GB. Keep this screen open at this stage, go to the file manager again and create the folder with any name you want. To save your backup, here I created it as an auto backup folder. You need to create another folder to save the preloader also. Now go back to the MTK client, select the created folder for taking backup. Here I selected an auto backup folder and immediately after selecting, it will start the backup. You can see the progress bar at the bottom in the MTK client. Here at the bottom, you can see the current file backing up and its estimated time. At the start, it will show you 60 hours remaining like that. But don't worry, later this time will get strings down as the backup goes on. But still, it will take more than the 2 hours, so in this period, take some coffee, tea, snacks and enjoy. So finally, backup had done with the 100% message at the progress bar. Now we need to backup the preloader of Oxynos 12. So select the flash tool tab. Here select the read preloader and select the folder which we created to save the backup of preloader. Process to find our desired hard drive is same as we done for the saving the full backup earlier for the Oxynos 12. Once you select the folder for backup of preloader, tap on the save button at the top right corner. Immediately it backups the preloader in the boot.bin format and gets saved in the folder. So backup of Oxynos 12 partition and the preloader has been done. Now we will start the flashing of Oxynos 11 partitions. Select write partition tab in the MTK client. Now tap select from the directory button available at the bottom right corner. You get the file manager screen to select the partition folder. Go to computer slash folder then media then user and select the desired hard drive where you place the extracted partition backup folder with all the images files. Here it's not to partition a 15 folder for me, once selected, tap choose button at the bottom. All the files automatically sets as per their partition names. No need to do anything if you check the partition by scrolling down. Some partitions are empty like nvdata, persis, protect, user data because these files are device specific. They are not present in the partition folder. Now tap right button at the top right corner. Now same progress bar will be visible at the bottom like we seen at the time of doing the backup. Here it will again show you the heavy time to restore. But later it will get strings down. It will get completed within more than 2 hours. Once done we get the 100% completed notification at the bottom progress bar. So it's time to flash the preloader. Go to the same flash tool to write the preloader. Select write preloader tab. We get the file manager to select the preloader file. Here choose the folder where you place the downloaded file boot.bin preloader from the video description. And select the save button from the top right corner. Now here in the progress bar nothing happens. You can only see the done and the time left indicators. MTK client freezes but don't worry our work has been done here. Now remove the phone cable and long press the volume up and the power button, phone will restart but it will boot in a stock recovery. Here go to the wipe, then tap format data, type password and once done phone reboots and finally we will see the oneplus boot animation. Here are some troubleshooting if sometimes you see the image corruption immediately after the reboot then long press the volume up down plus power button. Phone will boot to the bootloader mode, connect to the PC and open the terminal on the real live DVD and type the fastboot flashing unlock. This will unlock the bootloader and phone will reboot. But if still it's didn't boot it, then watch my iCard video to restore the fastboot restoration of partitions. But most likely this will not happen. Now phone booted to the OS. If you go to the about phone, this is now Oxynos 11 with the A15 version. After booting, we won't check all the things like network, camera, fingerprint, all the things are working or not and they should work fine. So finally we roll back to the Oxynos 11, Windows based MTK client has more speed and easier HDD selection for the backup and restore as compared to the real live DVD. But sometimes that didn't detect the phone in the BROM mode even if you install all the drivers. I will create that tutorial for the Windows based MTK client soon. So that's it guys for today, if you think I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.